Good morning! Halika, magkapi tayo! Our text for today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 35-40. It says, Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me but raise it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in Him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. Thus far is the reading for today's Gospel Reflection. Without bread, we will never have life. What is it for us? What is God's message for us through this gospel text today? We have a couple of promises in today's gospel passage. That according to his Father's will, Jesus won't lose anyone whom the Father has entrusted him that he will never turn away anyone who comes to him. But in contrast to the other text in Luke chapter 11 verses 13 to 22, many would come and knock at his door saying that we have preached with you and dined with you. And then soon he would reject him saying, I do not know you stay away from me. How do we reconcile this incident in the gospel texts? The reality is Jesus can never contradict himself. It may be possible that the later group came to him making him as an object to be used for their own end or purpose and was never the subject in their worship and adoration, while the other group openly and totally embraced him, motivated by the love of Jesus. Today, Jesus tells the crowds that I am the bread of life. Jesus also says that anyone who comes to him will never hunger nor thirst. Did the crowds truly understand what Jesus was saying? Did they realize that Jesus was not speaking literally? Jesus was not talking about food and drink that we consume, but rather Jesus was speaking of spiritual hunger and thirst. Ask yourself, what is it that you hunger for? Do you hunger for love, friendship, relationship, or financial stability, or a healthy life, or a happy family? We human beings have many hungers in life. However, 
we often try to satisfy our deepest hungers with money, material things, possessions, with people, or even food or drink. Yes, these things truly do satisfy us to some extent. However, our deepest hunger is for the hunger for God that we don't realize. Our challenge. The Jews understood that God promised them manna from heaven to sustain them on their journey to the promised land. Bread is the very staple of life. Without bread, there will never be life. We would not live without food very long. Bread sustains our life. But what is life? Jesus clearly meant something more than just physical existence. The life Jesus refers to is a life connected, connected or interrelated with God. The author of life. Real life is a relationship with the living God and a relationship of trust, love, obedience, peace, and joy. This is what Jesus makes possible for us, a loving relationship with God. Jesus makes three claims in the Gospel passage today. Number one, he offers himself as a spiritual food which produces the very life of God within us. Number two, Jesus promised us an unbroken relationship and freedom from the fear of being forsaken or cut off from God. And number three, He offers us the hope of sharing in His resurrection. Underline that. Jesus rose physically and never to die again. Those who accept Jesus as Lord and Savior will be bodily raised up to immortal life with Him when He comes again on the last day. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Your death brought life and hope where there was once only despair and defeat. Give me the hope of everlasting life and the joy of knowing your unfailing love and the unwavering faith and obedience in doing the will of our Father in heaven. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Okay? So, paano ito kapatid? Don't forget to finish your coffee. Thank you so much. Magandang buhay sa ating lahat. May God bless us all. See you tomorrow.